All right, guys, so we're here at the second location with Pastor Alberto. This is the room for the miners. Minor that they're on the company and there was uh, you know lawyers coming and making fake marriages uh, for them to cross legally through the United States. I already interviewed them, they didn't want to talk. So who are they? Do you know? Yeah. That's al otro lado, the lawyers. Uh, there are apparently like five or six of them. They're always here. Yeah. And they're always working. So uh, they, that was the person that accepted that they were making a fake marriage. Who's that? That one. The one with the backpack and the, the one that has uh, her hair on uh, Oh, she admitted it? Yes. Let's go talk to her. I, I don't want to be filmed. I know. You know, I just realized you were the one who admitted that you guys were making fake marriage licenses. That a lot was. And I don't want to be filmed. Well, that's, that's okay. It's a public place. Why are American attorneys in Mexico? Why are American attorneys in Mexico? Is it, is it illegal to pra practice law in a foreign country? I'm just wondering, is it illegal to practice law in a foreign country? Do you realize aiding and abetting an invasion of America, it's criminal offense? At minimum, it's sedition, if not treason. You guys don't want to say anything. Is there anyone from your organization that would be willing to talk? Passing out legal information that we got from the U.S. Department of Justice website is not illegal. Yes, but helping them cross illegally is. Providing fake documents, providing fake marriage licenses, connect, the connecting them. We, I have it. We have the proof. Here, what they do is uh, from a lot of lado, they give the attorneys, this is his name, Gasper, and then intake, and then you go okay. down to the web page, and then there's uh, the number of registered, and then they tell, they, they tell uh, the immigrant, um, what you have to do is when you go down with the immigration, everything, make sure that you break this, this, uh, this paper and so don't let nobody get rid see of the you. evidence. The, yes. yes, here is this fake uh, marriage certificate. They marry them and everything, and so then they wow. give them this fake certificate. It's the family that got married, and these are the ones that worked uh, together with the attorneys of Al Otro Lado. They're right here. Wow. They, they worked together. That's who did uh, the marriage ceremony and, the and gave them the certificate of marriage. And here, there's like the contract. This is like their, their contract of uh, their consultation of attorney. This is Honduras proof of marriage and declaration. That's in English there. So they get them to sign this. They this make them to sign them. They, and a, it's a so fake matrimony. They, for, they forge documents. Yeah. It's fraud. Yeah. There. So they use it to raise money for these people, but really for their law firm. Yeah. I have proof of that fake marriage. It's not a fake marriage. It was it's, a ceremony. It, yeah, yeah. And we've stopped doing that. And we've stopped doing that. And we've stopped doing that. We've stopped doing that. Well, yes. You guys are doing that to cross illegally to the United States. You're you're hurting the sovereignty of the United States, and you're hurting us. All right. Do you understand? I understand. Out here with Arizona Border Recon, about to go out and uh, do some scouting. Tim Foley and the other uh, patriots out here from across the country standing up to protect America first. Right here. Stay tuned. No, no, we're right here. Oh, we're yeah, farther this, down. This right we're in this, this, we're in this box. Here. Yep. Right near Ship Bag Alley. Yep. All right, so that'll work. I'll take a look at the bigger one first. And then, uh, Let's see who notices, recognizes this spot first. So we're coming up. This is the shot where the cartel brought the high value target, Middle Eastern target. Came in here, we're down at the same location. This is where they come through, it's just this easy. You know, the roads, you can drive down about a quarter mile from here and park. Have somebody sitting there waiting. There's a road right there. Road in Mexico? Yeah. So this is Mexico right over here. There's a road that drives right up to this point. Yeah, Get out. And get out and come right over here open the gate just like tim did under the tree quarter mile back that way cars there ready to pick them up and they're out so tim how often does border patrol 
come down. We're, we're at this place where the cartels brought their, these guys. According to the, the sign of their tire track, there was one in here maybe a week ago. Wow. Otherwise, this is just open. Yeah. Well, they're told not to come down here. Why? Because it's too dangerous. see why they choose this location you can see everything the, the roads all the roads leading in so these are all the border patrol roads you can just see everything so border patrol starts driving in here you got a crew that's running drugs or anything over here you know you can tell them hey you got 10 minutes before border patrols there So they're, put, they're putting the water where the, the cartel scout outposts are. Mm -hmm. Basically, they have maps. And when they run into that bottle with the 3606, they look at their map and they know exactly where they're at on the map. So you're talking about the, the people coming through? Yeah. So this is communicated. So the people that drop the water put that on there? Mm -hmm. but you cannot make this up. Looks like the numbers have rubbed off the, the look at that. Buena. Right there, amigo. Amigas. Wow. This is a scout mountain they just drop down and there's a water drop. See how they just fucking trash it and leave shit and then they'll take the water and go back up top of the mountain. These are the blankets. That's a humanitarian blanket on top of this mountain. Down in here, got a bunch of beans. Another humanitarian water. Some of the tuna that they give them. They can hide out in there if it's raining, sit under the rocks, eat their food, take a nap. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go up and over. As I was coming down off this, off that ledge right there, I see stashed down in this bush. Brand new, for the most part. Not, you know, they've been bleached. They don't start out pink. They start out camouflage. But these are, these are carpet shoes. Perfectly good carpet shoes. I'm gonna take these. Sorry, illegal alien, cartel scout. I got your carpet shoes. Come and get them. Honduras, Salvador, different places. Once they entered to Mexico. There was a priest, Salolinde, what's his name? Salo so, Solalinde. 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 The priest, Salolinde, he makes a deal with the governors. <laughs> and this is the deal. Okay, you enter like Mexico City. When you enter Mexico City, he makes a deal with the governor. He tells the governor, look, I have a whole bunch of immigrants that are coming here. 
If they're going to go through your city, you have to go shelter to shelter to shelter to shelter. Security, security, a lot of money to support, help, watch, and everything. Let's do something. Avoid all that tension and headache. Give me 200 buses. 200 buses, I'll take it out of your, I, 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 I take it off your head from your state and take it to the other state. So they give them the 100 buses, 200 buses. And who was this? <laughs> That's Solalinde. Solalinde. That's a priest over here. So, so they make that deal. So they get, they, they, they get all these immigrants with the bus to the other state. Then he negotiates with the other governor. So everything came from state to state to state. Now is he still do Tijuana's is he still doing this? But Tijuana is a dead end. Right. So everything gets funneled here, or or Juarez or any of the other. That's the problem. Yeah. If they have flooding, they've been hit here. They have been hit very hard with tornadoes. They've had severe flooding, and their government doesn't provide homes or shelter for them. Yet they have these illegal aliens, and they immediately have shelters they have wi-fi they give them good warm food and they don't even provide anything like that for them when they have uh, catastrophes or or disasters he says that uh they have to pay to get a visa to cross over he says these people automatically come these invaders automatically come and they're given a visa so they can cross over and he says, and, and he says, if that be the case, he says, we'll just form our own caravan right. and demand a visa. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Double standard. If you cross with families, there's a law. There's a law that says that if you have families and you have kids, you could be in detention center for so so much of a time. There's a time limit for you to see the judge. Now, if you see the judge, if 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 the court system is jammed and a whole bunch of families cross out at once. And you pass that time limit to see the judge, well, they put an ankle, right. an ankle they bracelet on you, on your leg, and everything. But you're still in U.S. Uh, prop, uh, custody, or you're still in the United States territory. And they're saying, well, it's easier to fight your case being inside U.S. territory than uh, being outside. So the idea is jam all the court system <laughs> with a whole bunch of families and everything. Men. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Yes. That's not normal. That is not normal. Little girls, little boys raped. This phoniness at the border, uh, bringing children in, that's an open door passport. Come on in. And thank God that now we're at least doing blood tests, DNA, to make sure that that's a child and a parent. And m most of them are not. How shocking is that? And, and the worst part of it, they are recycling these children. They get caught, they get sent back, and then they're back again with some other guy doing God knows what in the middle of the desert with those little children. Holly's holding that child, guys. Look at that. That's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. Kids' socks. Condoms, 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 lubrication, and more ripped up documents. I pray for whatever kids this guy came in contact with. Look at that, guys. That's not normal. Yeah, they got their papers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, they get a humanitarian visa from... That's not normal. Fathers don't hold their children like that. All these guys, they all, all of the male, adult males, come with a child in their arms. They all say that they're their kids. Isn't it ironic that everybody coming over that's an adult male has one child with them? No, I do want them to stop them. I wish they could stop them. I wish, I, I wish they'd say, turn around, you can't come in. Yeah, Can right I? Here with one of them. This is just insane. Yes, I understand. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to get a hold of them. Every day? Every day. Every day. Yep, every day. So you get a hold of them, you come out here with them, they will be here. 
and and there's nothing that you can do to stop them and turn them around nope. out of your hair that's did you see the look on her face when she said that come back tomorrow mm-hmm. every day all day have only deepened and the fact is president trump must stop holding the american people hostage must stop manufacturing a crisis this border emergency is nothing more than a manufactured crisis, and California will not be part of this political theater. How he manufactures crises, like immigrants seeking legal refuge on our borders. Is They're going, people. They're going. They are going right here. Hey, we should call Border Patrol. He ran right past us, tried to stop him in the river, tried to turn him around. This is the invasion of America. And they say, we have to stay back. Do you lock your doors at your house? Do you have a fence or a wall around your house? The people in here, in America, that's my family. I have a duty to protect them. As an American citizen, just like I have a duty to protect my family at home, I have a duty to protect the people in America. We're down here in Juarez, showing you how, how immoral walls are. These are the narco houses, the cartel, the politicians, they live behind, look at these bars spiked. Oh, you, but yeah, walls, fences are immoral. That's a, that's a 15 foot, 12 foot tall wall. This is ridiculous. But walls are immoral? Who said that? More electrified, but we can't, we, we can't electrify our fence. Look at this, look at this, holy moly. Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that. It's just a double standard I can't handle. You've got walls, you've got fences, you've got spikes, you've got electrified fences, you've got barbed wire, you've got security cameras. Oh, here. How dare any leftist say that this, protecting and securing our border is not compassionate. You leave your doors open. You invite criminals into your house and tell me how compassionate that is. Here they go. On to a city near you. So what happens now, just in case you're wondering, is they go to a detention center where liberals scream and cry, and then, and then they're put on a plane and sent to a community near you. Every single flight out of here has handfuls, if not dozens, of illegals that are being shipped around our country. at your expense. So be thankful if you're a taxpayer that your money, your hard-earned money, is going to redistributing illegals across our country. Bobby and Cayenne Michael are my guests. They are angel parents of Brandon Michael. Bobby, when you were at that airport, uh, you saw something that I didn't even see. I saw the papers that these people were holding, but I didn't see what was written on them. You sent that to me. You see not only veterans, you see um, elderly people, you see uh, American citizens with small babies have to wait because these illegal aliens with with these packets that says uh, priority boarding board the plane before us. I was just so upset, man. All these people guys just jumped over the fence. This is in Yuma, 100 illegals. We just caught, we got video. They're trying to block us. They're trying to block us out. This is what they're going to do in the house. We can build a wall here, but we can't I know. build a wall there. I know. We can build a wall Look at this. Them. This just came across. They were they were escorted, escorted by cartel. No. 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 Port of entry. No. no. You gotta go to the port. Look at all this. this no, is no, 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 that way. hands where we can see them. No, 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 that way. Back no, across. No, 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 we're not no. Border no. Patrol. You do what we say. Port of entry. 
24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. Yeah. 24 hours a day. This is how they're. Ugh, they, they, what pisses me off so much? Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Donald Beto, Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump, shut it down. Shut it down. Shut the border down. Put the military down here and say, until we figure this out, no more. Zero. No more. Well, well, basically, the main problem is, in part, it's a little bit of uh, U.S. law. Uh, with, uh, the, the, Absolutely. The U.S. is the one that has the problem, but, uh, the law that they have. Uh, uh, a whole bunch of people and, uh, and lawyers, and they give a whole bunch of recommendations. And they said, okay, you guys cross a thousand at, at one. Everybody cross all at once. Um, and then all of a sudden, it doesn't matter if you do it in front of the, the uh, INS officer and everything. Right. All you do is just lift up your hands, political asylum. The law states that you have your right to, to go see a judge to have your day in court. What does he no. think the solution for the caravan and all this is? ¿Qué es la solución tocante la caravana? Él piensa, él quiere saber cómo, cómo paramos ese, ese problema de que ellos están viniendo para acá. Pues que se pongan allá, allá arriba, que no pasen. Que no pasen. He wants, stop the, stop yeah, he, the border. Yeah, he wants the, the government to take control and say no more, no more. And to stop. The fact that Democrats lie to the American people and say this isn't a crisis. frustrating. It comes as a manhunt is underway for a dangerous illegal immigrant accused of killing two women in Kentucky in a hit and run crash. Authorities say he had been deported eight times. Much stop manufacturing a crisis. A man who should not have been in this country, Raul Perez, will go to trial for the murder of 31-year-old Carla Guadalupe Mangana. This border emergency is nothing more than a manufactured crisis. I arrested Wilbur Martinez Guzman Saturday for living in the U.S. illegally. Now, following that, police obtained search warrants for his car and apartment, where they found enough evidence to charge him with the three counts of burglary and possession of stolen property. The DA expects his murder charges later later this week. How he manufactures crises like immigrants seeking legal refuge. In June, a mother of four named Cecilia Bravo Cabrera went missing. Well, now authorities have charged her illegal immigrant husband and apparent bigamist Francisco uh, Valdivia with her murder along with his other wife, Rosalina Lopez, also an illegal immigrant. She's charged as an accessory after the fact. Manufacturing a crisis. And a manufactured crisis. Manufactures crises. Legal immigrant without a driver's license responsible for this car wreck that killed a volunteer firefighter and two young children ages four and 22 months. Now, the heartbroken widow and mother is fighting for justice so that other families don't have to go through what she went through. And she is outraged that her family's killer only got two years behind bar. On that day, uh, my husband and our two youngest children uh, were on their way home, and on their way home, they were struck head on by uh, an illegal immigrant and um, killed instantly in the drive. Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi, and Ocasio-Cortez, they say this is a manufactured crisis. And they're right, it is manufactured by criminal politicians and leftist organizations in America who are aiding and abetting the invasion of this nation. American citizens are victims today because of their policies. It's time that they're held accountable. It's time for every American citizen to stand up. The sunshine on a dark day um, I remember their beautiful faces. I see them from the moment I wake up till the moment I go to bed. Um, I remember their hugs and I miss those. I miss those hugs every day and I miss, I miss hearing mommy coming down the hall. And I miss when they said, I love you. I miss their kisses, I'm, I miss everything about them.